right, so uh, 75 hard over 50 day three. Um, I'm gonna be looking, I am driving, I'm being safe driving, so I'm not even looking at you very much. Also, uh, too, my car does autopilot, so um, not that I rely on that, I always have the hand on the wheel. But so, um, the reason I chose to do 75 hard, so about 10, 11 days ago, my wife who follows Emily Facilia, sorry, I know I said that wrong, Facilla, Facilla, there we go. Um, she's been following her uh, for her nutrition and um, meals and so forth and so on. And so about 10, 11 days ago, she said, hey, why don't we do this 75 hard thing together? I think it'd be great for us to do together. I'll be honest, I initially looked, uh, or she gave me the brief overview of it right away, and I said, no, I, I, I ain't doing something like that. Um, so that being said, uh, that was a very ignorant response of me without researching it first. Uh, so then I started researching it, and um, as I was researching it, I was already starting my uh, macro diet, which is clean eating, all right, which I do clean eating. Um, and I was kind of already doing two days anyways, three days a week. So I went ahead and I researched it more and then I loosely started following it. Um, so even though I'm on day three, uh, technically I'm probably on day eight or nine just without the picture, so it doesn't count. And uh, in doing it, I gotta tell you though, my macros were a little off. I was too under in the beginning. Um, I hit a wall on like my day two of eight or nine, you know, uh, when I was prepping for it. And uh, my, I mean, my body was shutting, not shutting down, but physically I was drained. Uh, I was starving, of course. And then I adjusted my macros too high, um, which was okay. Uh, I, I spiked in weight. I know it's a very small um, sampling that I'm going off of, uh, but my, my weight kind of jumped up so I tweaked the macros a little bit more. Now I'm about 2,600 calories a day um, of all healthy eating, and that seems to be right on target. Um, so once that kicked in uh, for about the last four days, three days, everything's been going great. I, I do still find myself hungry. I do need to eat when I'm supposed to eat. Uh, my schedule is uh, give or take a half an hour to an hour. Uh, six o'clock, nine o'clock, noon, three o'clock, six o'clock. Um, of course, that's breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And, um, you know, on my macro diet, at least, you know, it tapers down. So you got the bigger um, calories in, in the, and fats in the morning. And then it slowly tapers down to the evening. You're getting a little bit less of that. And it evens out the protein all by itself. So on anyways, diet in another video. Um, so in prepping for it, I, I thought it I thought it was great. Um, I kind of flipped the switch on my wife a little bit, where I'm like, all right, hey, let's let's go, let's go, let's let's get this thing rocking. And she's like, oh, hold on, you know, I, I got a vacation, I got this, and I said, all right, well, that's fine, you know, I'll wait for you. Needless to say, she doesn't know that I didn't wait for her yet, so I'm waiting for her to come back from vacation to tell her. So, word. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I went ahead and started, as I said, and day three is great. It's a Sunday. Um, actually, because it's our first sunny day, I'm on my way to work to run a couple jobs. And uh, it's great. Woke up, ate, I packed my bag for my snack. I only plan to be gone a couple hours, got all my water. Uh, once again, measuring the water is a big key thing. And um, I'll do a couple of video tidbits of my workout a little bit later today, or my workouts, I should say. Um, and I do recommend getting a 75 hard, reading it either before or uh, while you're doing it. I, I think it's great. It's a great motivational thing for me, at least. Uh, if you watch some of Andy's videos, I know um, Alex, I forgot Alex's last name, one of the podcasts he did, he said to read it like 40 or 50 days into it, um, you know, to each their own. I find it really useful to read it now. All right, um, catch back up with you on my workout. Right, so I'm gonna bore you with my outdoor workout again. Um, so when I run, I do, uh, I run by heart rate. Okay, so it's there on my Garmin. I have it stopped right now. So this doesn't count as part of my 45 minutes. Um, so I do zone two for 80% of the time and then zone three for 20% of the time on days I'm gonna work at that. So that's today. 
Um, literally probably five or six days a week, I'm only doing zone two if I'm running and I won't be running every day. Uh, I do wear uh, braces on the knees. They seem to help out a lot. Um, so the, my zone two by heart rate is 119 to 132. And that's just gonna get um, uh, better as I keep on running. Uh, your zone two is gonna be different. So then my zone three is 133 to I forget what my watch tells me. So I just watch that. So um, my 80% or my 20% today is I'm doing a little hills. Uh, we're going to Colorado in a few weeks to go hiking. So um, I need to get in shape for that. I think I am going to get enough shape for that now, but might as well just do some jogging up of some hills. So, uh, sorry, I did a video of me doing that. We'll see how that turns out. But uh, yeah, so this is my outdoor day three. Um, basically, I, I kind of just do a loop around my subdivision out onto a main road on on the same bike path I was on the other day, and then do some running along that. But today I decided just to do some minor hill training. I uh, just run up and down. All right, I'll catch you inside. All right, for my uh, second workout or my indoor workout of the day, I actually decided to bike. Um, it called for another bicep uh, exercise tonight workout, so I decided not to do that. Um, I did biceps on Thursday or Friday night. Last night was some, some squatting and some trap bar and some um, triceps. So I didn't want to start doing uh, biceps again tonight. So one thing I did learn by researching on, and you know, excuse my bopping, but I'm literally riding right now. Big fan of the Nordtrack S22i. I know it's a very uh, expensive bike. Um, it's fantastic though. Look, I'm I'm riding through Chicago right now. Just a nice, easy, flat area. Um, so, yeah, I'm just spinning out the legs. So one thing uh, I learned through research with uh, watching other YouTubers um, was that you got to take it easy. It's 75 days. And if you uh, blow yourself out, uh, you could hurt yourself. You could injure yourself. You could really make it a lot more miserable. And you're going to still get the same effects after 75 days. So it's only day three. Um, big thing on if your legs are tired or you just need to rest um, literally just spin it out uh, get on a bike get on an indoor bike outdoor bike what uh, ride flat and just get your the lactate in your muscles and your leg muscles just moving to um, get things going and the other thing is I get to watch I can't go all the way around copyright infringement but I'm watching the Cubs game too so uh, Cubs Dodgers for wherever you're at um, but yeah, so that'll wrap up my day today for you guys. Keep it short and sweet. Uh, day three about to be in the books. I got to read. I actually read about 30 pages of the 75 hard book last night. Um, it's really easy reading. Uh, Andy spaces out his sentences and paragraphs a lot. So uh, see you tomorrow. Hang in there.